50-50 light years. Entering Nebula. Entering Federation space. It's a, it's a gas planet. Okay. Data, is it possible there's something we missed? I can attempt to enhance the scan matrix. That may increase our sensor resolution. Make it so. I don't think Aramut was lying to us about this location, Captain. I do sense life out there, but it's hard to be more specific at this distance. If the followers are out there, how do you propose we locate them? These are people who fled from persecution on Garid. They might be hiding deliberately. It may be better to let them locate us by sending out a general message of friendship. Perhaps one of our passengers could think of something that would encourage the followers to respond. Yeah, maybe they have a, like a cloaking device that ho uh, hides the planet, like in one one. Mr. Wolf, your analysis. Episode, Captain. We should check our orders from Starfleet. Yeah. Aramot is a Ferengi. Maybe he altered his navigational logs to throw us off the track. That is a possibility. There is physical evidence, however, that Aramut did visit the system. What sort of evidence, Mr. Data? The hull of Aramut's ship had recently been irradiated by chromaton particles. Shonoisho Epsilon is the only star in this sector that emits chromaton particles. We've arrived at Aramut's coordinates, but if the followers are here, they're hiding. Do you suppose they'd respond to a message of friendship? Perhaps they would pay attention to someone who quoted the lawgiver. Captain, if you patch me through your comm system, I could send out an appropriate message. Make it so. Aye, Captain. And when the lawgiver left Gerrit, he said of the ruling council, they have taken my words and engraved them backwards. Okay. That was nice. There is no response, sir. Well, it was worth a try. Sir, we are being hailed. Who is this that knows the lawgiver's lament? I am Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? I shall need more information before I can trust you. Tell me more about yourself. We represent the United Federation of Planets. We are on a mission of peace. Is that why your ship is bristling with weapons? We use our weapons purely for defense. I see. And would the Federation be willing to defend us? Starfleet protects all of Federation space, which includes this system. If you wish, your world could even apply for Federation membership. I don't think the Romulans or Garidians would like that. They both have made claims on this world. That is unfortunate, but immaterial. Your planet is in Federation space. If you ask for our assistance, we will give it. That is a noble attitude. We have several Garidian refugees aboard. They are seeking to bring the wisdom of the Lawgiver's Fifth Scroll back to Garid. Hmm. Garid had its chance, and it cast the Lawgiver and our ancestors aside. It is too late to mend their relations with us now. These are reformers hoping to use the Lawgiver's words to improve Garidian society. That is a cause the Lawgiver would have approved. You've given me much to think about, Captain. Allow me a few moments to consider it. I understand. We will remain in orbit and await your response. Counselor, do you have any thoughts? 
I'm sorry, Captain, but I don't have any suggestions right now. Mr. Data, I suggest we contact Starfleet, Captain. <laughs> Always says that. Mr. Worf, your analysis. Captain, we sh Admiral Williams here. What can I do for you, Captain? What's your assessment of our recent performance? You did good work on Marassia. Dr. Hunforsch is back at work with the Preserve, and relations with the Marassians have improved noticeably since your visit. Shall I go on? Please do. The Enterprise responded to a distress call from Merton Station. Good work there, Picard. Without your efforts, this could have been a real catastrophe. You saved hundreds of lives, kept the station operational, and even managed to save the experimental power core. Congratulations. Shall I go on? No, thank you. I'd like to confirm our current orders. Of course. Starfleet Command is still considering the options. While we review the situation, the Enterprise is to remain on patrol. What is the current situation, Admiral? Is there anything in particular we should be aware of? Okay. Aside from some Romulan activity along the border, things are fairly calm. But we have received an official complaint from Garrett regarding the refugees. This is a tricky diplomatic situation, and it would help if you found the fifth scroll, or proved it didn't exist. The card out. Mr. Worf, your analysis. Captain, we... The fifth scroll could be the... Too long have we been the slaves of our patri... Please, Captain, in the name of justice for... All, Sir, always... we are being hailed. Yeah, I was going to say that <laughs> the game is making us wait. Although not as much as newer games like Star, uh, Star Citizen, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah always when, when the game makes you wait, I'm, I'm waiting like, is the trigger going to activate? Is it On broken? Screen. I have decided to trust you. I am Larak, Chancellor of the planet, Phrygis. How did you know we were here? A Ferengi trader claimed he picked up some Garidian animals here. Aramut. We started dealing with him to purchase some outside technology, and we gave him some animals in return. Fortunately, we never told him much about ourselves. How do you manage to conceal your entire planet? The technology is similar to the Romulan cloaking device. It fools sensors into misreading what they see. We had to protect ourselves in case Garrett's forces came after us. Do you have a probe that... I'm made of neutron. May I send some of my crew down to learn more about you? Since our deception is discovered, I suppose there is no harm in letting a small number of off-worlders visit. But there must be no Garidians in the party. They have not yet earned our trust. I agree to your terms, Chancellor. I shall send my first officer, Commander Riker, as my personal representative. Good, Captain. It is always gratifying to deal with a man of reason. I will transmit the landing coordinates to your computer. Thank you. Number one, this is an extremely important first contact situation. I want you to lead the away team. See if you can locate the fifth scroll for our Garidian passengers. Okay, so, small break. I'll take more something to drink and uh, be back in moment momentarily.
Okay, back to the captions chair. Yes, sir. No wolf wharf to the first contact situation. May the lawgiver's spirit smile on you. I am Chancellor Larak. Welcome to Phrygis. Thank you for letting us beam down. I'm Commander William Riker of the Starship Enterprise. Except for Aramut, we have not had outworld visitors since the lawgiver brought us here. I have thousands of questions to ask, but I will do it at another time. How can I help you, Commander Riker? We're looking for information about the fifth scroll your lawgiver brought here with him. Why are you aliens interested in our scroll? It may be the only way to prevent a civil war back on Garrett. Can you help us? I am afraid not. I am only in charge of the civil government. That is a religious matter, so you must ask the leaders of the sects for help. Uh-huh. It's only been a thousand years since the lawgiver left Garrett. Has your religion had such serious splits in so short a time? Sadly, yes. Even before the lawgiver's death, his disciples began to disagree over the way his writings should be interpreted. They each made a copy of the fifth scroll that emphasized their own particular biases over all the others. That must have been confusing. It was worse than that. The lawgiver became disgusted with them and hid his original manuscript, vowing that no one would find it until the sects learned to cooperate. Ah, okay. <laughs> From the way you're talking, I guess they never have. An accurate appraisal. The lawgiver said he left the keys to the scroll's location with each of the sects. But so far, after centuries of feuding, all the sects have done is formalize their competition into the Declaratory. The Declaratory? Yes. A series of philosophical contests the sects hold every decade. The winner has the right to collect some prize from the loser. What are these pyramids? The pyramids are relics of an ancient race called the Chodak. They were here long before we arrived from Garid. Each sect adapted a pyramid to serve as a transporter to their temple. So Chodak are a fiction, uh, non-canon race, but which has like appeared in other other computer games. We've heard of the Chodak, but it's rare to find evidence of their presence in this section of the galaxy. Oh yes, the Chodak Empire was vast indeed. Like the lawgiver before me, I have made extensive studies of their culture. I am actually considered something of an expert in the translation of Chodak runes. Well, you've been very interesting. Helpful. Thank you. Chekhov's gun, basically. I must return to my other duties now, but I will monitor your progress as my schedule permits. May the spirit of the lawgiver guide your steps. Okay. Let's make sure we get all the information we can from the sect leaders. I have a feeling we can get some valuable clues from them. I don't think that's such a good idea. I don't think that... We should try to get as much information as we can from the sect leaders. Is that safe? May the wisdom of the lawgiver ring sweetly in your ears. I am Songmaster Stamblier, leader of the Chanters. Chancellor Larak told me to expect you. How may I help you? I'm Commander Riker of the Federation Starship Enterprise. What is this place? This is the practice hall of the Choir of Holy Intonations. Here we grow the pluvoids and perfect their chants. Uh, those things. These pluvoids seem to be some form of plant life. Do they actually understand what they're singing? Not really, but they have beautiful tonal quality. That is important for holy chants.
Why do you call yourselves the Chatters? Our founder, Ifnik, believed the path to true enlightenment lies in singing. We grow these pluvoids and train them to sing holy songs. By focusing so deeply on the eternal mysteries, we gain a clearer insight into the nature of religion and salvation. Lovely temple you have here. Thank you. We constructed this chamber to optimize its acoustic effects. Your instrument seems to be broken. What's wrong with it? Oh, we lost its sonic redigitizer to those discordant seekers in the declaratory many years ago. Why is there one hole that doesn't have a gold ring around it? Oh, we lost that ring to those discordant seekers in the declaratory many years ago. Okay. Can you help us find the original fifth scroll? What is wrong with the copy our sect has? We need the original for historical research purposes. Oh, I see. I do not think I can help you. Our sect has lost so many items in the declaratory that I doubt we would be very good treasure hunters. But some of our chants go back for centuries, even to the days of the lawgiver. Would you like to hear one? That's a very generous offer. I would love to hear your pluvoids sing. We are happy to oblige. This chant is called The Futility of Wisdom. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for letting us hear that. It was very enlightening. Since you cool. enjoyed it so much, I shall give you an orchestrion that will let you listen to it whenever you wish. And feel free to visit us anytime. May the songs of the lawgiver bring you fulfillment. What's the next pyramid? I am Media, the Gynarch of the Questers for Inner Strength. Chancellor Larak warned me about you. Interesting. I'm Commander William Riker. Why do you call yourselves the Questers for Inner Strength? Our founder, Plegu, believed that the outer body must suffer to make the inner soul stronger. Only by learning to deny the sensations of our outer bodies can we make our spirits free. Okay, interesting. Can you help us find the original fifth scroll? My people have always looked inside themselves for their strength. We have never cared for external things to aid our spiritual quest. What is this place? This is the Grand Penatorium, where my subjects meet to become more disciplined and more firm-willed. Okay, so this is like a local BDSM cult. Your something. regimen sounds quite difficult. It is. Only the most dedicated can accomplish the regime. What about you? You would be a good candidate for discipline. If only I still had my scepter of light. So <laughs> they were all lost something. I, I, I can see where this is going. Why don't you still have your scepter of light? 
those horrendous seekers took it from me during the last declaratory. I would give anything for it. We are planning revenge next time. Uh-huh. Why do you have a force field inside your temple? There is a Chodak transporter pad behind it that the lawgiver frequently used during the last years of his life. We want to preserve it from prying eyes. Uh -huh. Maybe the original fifth scroll is back there. May we investigate it? I have no desire to share my temple's treasures with aliens. Lovely temple you have here. Thank you. It stimulates our contemplations. Right. Thank you for your time. You certainly wasted enough of it. May the Lawgiver's spirit grant you wisdom. I am Arch Rashan Nachu, chief assistant to his exalted prominence, Elant of the Seekers. Chancellor Larak told me to expect you. How may I be of service? I'm Commander Riker of the Federation Starship Enterprise. Can you help us find the original fifth scroll? I can let you see the true copy made by Baranon, our sect's founder. The true copy. <laughs> We're doing this for historical research. I'm sure you understand that no matter how good your copy is, we need to check the original for authenticity. I am afraid I cannot help you. The original was hidden by the lawgiver many centuries ago. And I do not know where it is. Why is your group called the Seekers? Our founder, Baranam, believed that the path to enlightenment lies in searching for the truth. We are humble in our ignorance. Only the truth will free our souls. So basically, Quakers. What is this place? It has many names. It is usually called the Hall of Triumph. But recently, some have called it the Path of No Return. Right. Why is this normally called the Hall of Triumph? Our sect has been understandably successful in the declaratory contest. This is where we keep the prizes we have won. Safe in our vault. When did this start being called the Path of No Return? More than a month ago, our leader Elant vanished through the Door of Enlightenment. He has not returned. Okay. What is this Door of Enlightenment you mentioned? At the end of this path is a door no one has ever opened. No one before Elant, that is. Why hasn't anyone opened this door before? There is a gatekeeper who jealously guards the doorway. He asks a series of questions what when is your anyone name? tries to pass it. And if the person does not answer all the questions appropriately, the gatekeeper will not let him pass. This, this, sounds, this sounds Monty Python. Isn't it possible that the original fifth scroll might be hidden on the other side of the door of enlightenment? Hmm. I suppose so. But why should we risk our safety when we have the true copy of the scroll anyway? What is the gatekeeper like? It is a very advanced device with strange, almost telepathic powers. Some say it is holdover Chodak technology. 
And others say the lawgiver had something to do with it. Lovely temple you have here. Thank you. It pleases us. Thank you for your time. Okay. Judging from its age, it might be Chodak in Orient. Come no closer. I am the gatekeeper of the Door of Enlightenment. You must answer my questions appropriately to determine whether you are wise enough to proceed. Those who answer inappropriately will be punished if they attempt to pass. Okay. Which of the sects has correctly interpreted the Fifth Scroll? Seekers, Chanters, Questers, they all had correct impregnation. I don't have enough facts to answer that properly. Too many facts can close a mind to knowledge. Who was the lawgiver? I've heard that he was a great man, but I have no personal knowledge of him. You are stating that you know that you do not know. How does a person reach enlightenment? Uh, very philosophical. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. You are saying you have no knowledge of that which cannot be known. Who are you? I am Riker, first officer, citizen of Federation. So many roles in life. Everyone plays so many roles in life. It is impossible to label them. You understand the fundamental paradox of existence. To know that you know nothing is the beginning of enlightenment. Your answers prove that you are ready to admit this. You may pass through the door. Okay, apparently Starfield, <laughs> Starfield fleet morals, morals work in every planet. <laughs> Dude, this is so Star Trek. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this looks so fancy that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to save him because it's. Uh, Somebody's trapped in there. This is a stasis field with a living being trapped inside. It was hard enough to get in here. Let's make sure we don't overlook anything. It's some kind of sign but I don't know what language it's in. The tricorder can't read it. It must be a very obscure language. The controls still work. I'm willing to bet that panel will let us turn off the stasis field. It is reasonable to assume that these controls will operate the stasis field. Interesting. This is written in a language with which I am unfamiliar. Given the premise that the Chodak once inhabited this world, it is possible that this could be a sample of Chodak writing. Okay. We <laughs> solved your uh, question of, uh, quest of enlightenment in five minutes. May the spirit of the lawgiver strengthen you. Have you had much success in your search? We found Elant. 
that he was trapped inside some sort of stasis field. Have you ever encountered anything like that? Thank the lawgiver you found him. I was worried about my old friend. No, I have not heard of such a field, but it is probably Chodak in origin. We still find many Chodak devices here, and they are often operational, even after all these years. Can you help us free Alont? Without knowing how to operate the device, I have no way to assist you. There was a control panel with a sign near it. We couldn't translate the writing. The Lawgiver made a great study of the ruins and developed a Chodak Garidian translator. I will upload it into your tricorder. Perhaps it will help you save Alant. Thank you very much. This may be an enormous help. Alant is my friend. I do hope you can free him. But if you will please excuse me now, I have a planet to govern. And there he goes. These instructions explain how to operate the control panel. It will not be hard to deactivate the stasis field now. By the lawgiver's wisdom, what is happening here? I'm Commander William Riker of the Starship Enterprise, representing the United Federation of Planets. We're visiting Phrygis by permission of Chancellor Larock. I presume you are Alant, exalted prominence of the Seekers. I am indeed. This is all most peculiar, but according to my studies, the Lawgiver expected us to have off-world visitors this year, so I should not be so surprised. What? Are you feeling all right? Thank you for your concern. I am feeling a little dizzy, but I think it will pass. How could the lawgiver foretell our coming in this particular year? He was a prophet. Prophets are supposed to foretell things. Yep. 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 Can you help us find the original fifth scroll? I wish I could. I came here looking for it. Why are you strangers so interested in it? There's a civil war brewing on Garrett. Having the original scroll may help some Garidian friends of ours prevent it. That sounds like a noble goal. Even though we have been exiles here for many generations, we still care about our home world. May the Lawgiver's wisdom help bring peace to Garid. What is this place? I scarcely know myself. I only came through that door a few minutes ago and I've not had much chance to look around. I suspect this is a room built by the Chodak, the original inhabitants of this world. Their ruins are all around us. I know it seems like you were here only a few minutes, but it was much longer. You've been trapped in a stasis field. Time actually stopped for you. I see. It was a rather disorienting experience. Do you remember what happened? When I entered the room, I saw a pair of talismans sitting on that rock. I climbed down to get them, but as soon as I touched them, alarms sounded and I just lost consciousness. Then you were here when I awoke. Talismans. You've been in stasis over a month from what your assistant Natural told us. Natural? That devious Dormifex is probably plotting some way to take over my position. I must return to the temple as quickly as possible. How can I thank you for rescuing me from that stasis feat? Thank you for your generosity, but a reward isn't necessary. The customs of my sect compel me to show my gratitude. Here are the talismans I picked up as well as the key to our vault, which holds the trophies we have won in the declaratory over the years. You may take up to three items to help you in your mission. Well... Thank you. We'll try to use your gifts wisely. Please excuse me. The effects of the stasis field have worn me out. I will rest here a while and then return to my temple. I'm sure I must have been met. This is the key to the Seeker's vault. It's some sort of antique bauble. It's some sort of antique bauble. Okay. So what happened is that our game crashed and uh, I 
did play quite long time before actually noticing. Okay, that's not that's not what we want. Get the stuff off light. Although this has been handling pretty pretty nicely with the New York computers. Uh, so this had like really annoying, uh, really annoying puzzle, which comes uh, later. You returned the missing ring. In your honor, we shall sing our loveliest chant. Watch your step. <laughs> Watch your step. Thank you for letting us hear that. It was very enlightening. <laughs> Since you enjoyed it so much, here is an orchestrion of it that you can play whenever you want. Text on. And then there's this another thing which we need Jordy to fix. I think this will fix. You repaired our instrument. In your honor, I shall play the lawgiver's song traveling music thanks for letting us hear that it was very enlightening since you enjoyed it so much, here is an orchestrion of it that you can play whenever you want. Now we go to the local BDSM cult. As leader of the team, command. Okay. Apparently they didn't uh, record <laughs> all the lights for all characters. My scepter of light! Oh, thank you. I have been missing this for ages. Oh, what favor can I do for you in return? What's behind this force field? An ancient Shodak transporter pad. Will you lower the force field? Mm, yes. I will do that for you, but I do not think it will be much help since we have never figured out how the Lawgiver's Transporter works. Okay. And they didn't figure out because they don't like music. And this is one of the gaming history worst puzzles. And our victim will be uh, Data, who will go and gather all these. But if he steps in wrong place, that's not really a good thing. Anyway, mm -mm. Okay, so I need to, I need to play this again. <laughs> oh no! Uh, so I was thinking a l longest time that I didn't like understand how this should work. Reason was there's couple items that look almost uh, exactly each other. Okay, that, that worked. 
out in the end. Let's take, take the covered one. Return here. Move the Riker away. And this I didn't understand for the longest time. I'm playing this this fast just because I kind of used like a half an hour for this. Okay, so we are in in here. So now we need to use the round one prong, and it's that this which isn't covered. So. And then there's this last fuck you from the developers. You need to use the right colored stone. If you use the wrong colored stone, well, very many people will be disappointed. So after Infernal Maze, it's like a 50-50 chance that you don't succeed in your mission. <laughs> That's how it's de Many developed. Cultures, flashing lights represent danger. While that need not be the case here, I believe it would be prudent to leave and take the scroll back to the ship for authentication. Beam us up. Weird place. Captain's log supplemental. We have successfully retrieved the Garidian's fifth scroll, and Tabak has verified the manuscript's authenticity. Lucana assures me the mere existence of this scroll may radically alter the structure of Garidian society. I am glad you found the original scroll, Captain. I hope it will do some good on Garid. Keeping it here would only upset the delicate balance between the sects. Thank you for your generosity. Would you be willing to let the Federation send an archaeological research team to Phrygis? Your world has the finest collection of Chodak ruins in known space. Would we be permitted to share in any Chodak secrets they uncover? Of course. The Federation believes in freely distributing scientific knowledge. In fact, we would be honored if your scientists would join our efforts. Then we agree, Captain. Send us your archaeologists. Captain, Lucana is on the calm. She wishes to speak to you. Put her on. The oppressed masses of Garrett offer their gratitude for your assistance, Captain. Garridian society will soon be transformed. We must now make plans to return the scroll to Garrett. Captain, a Garridian warbird is decloaking off the port oh, no. bow. It is the Asurum, Captain Pintara's ship. They are hailing us. On screen. Thank you for leading us here, Captain Picard. The ruling council has wondered for centuries where these people ran off to. 
You have no business here, Captain Pentara. We are in Federation space, and this world has asked for our protection. I intend to give it to them. This is no longer a matter of a little scout ship, Captain. A subspace message was sent from your ship to the Garidian rebels. A full-scale revolution has erupted on Garrett. We sent no messages. I suspect it was that revolutionary Lucana. She delights in stirring up trouble. Surrender her, end her companions at once, or face the consequences. Captain, the Aserum is powering up its disruptors. Shields up. Captain Pentara, anyone who has been sending unauthorized subspace messages from my ship will be dealt with severely. I do not tolerate that sort of behavior. You may have a few minutes to investigate, but I'm still not leaving without those people. Mr. Worf, get me Lucana on the comm. What do you want, Captain? Are you responsible for a subspace message being sent to Garrid? Yes, I brought a subspace microtransceiver with me. Now that we have the fifth scroll, our revolution is fully justified. Garidian society must change. Basically, if the scroll was destroyed, she would still do this the same and, and leave for leave for the for the Garrid. You are playing games with thousands of lives and risking an interstellar incident. Freedom for my people is worth any price, Captain. Lucana, this has gone far enough. If I get my mother to intercede with the ruling council, will you come back to Garrod and stop the revolution? Your mother is as reactionary as the council. She is a woman of honor. She would keep her word even to you, someone she hates. If she can get the council to listen, it might be worth the gamble. Captain, can you patch me through to my mother's ship? Make it so, Mr. Wolf. Mother, there is no need to fight. We have the fifth scroll. The fifth scroll is a myth. No, I've seen it and Tabak has verified it. This will change our world forever. Do you realize what this means? The ruling council has not been truthful with us for generations. The people will demand revenge. If you give us safe passage back to Garrod and convince the council to hear Lucana's message, she will return with the fifth scroll and stop the rebellion. Very well. Captain Picard, I will power down my disruptors so you can lower your shields and let me beam to Bark, Avakar, and Lucana to my ship. Perhaps our paths will cross again. Under better circumstances, I hope. Sir, the Warbird is disarming its weapons. Lower shields. Captain, the Garidians have beamed aboard the Asiram. They are underway. On course back to Garrod. What are your orders, Captain? I need to consider the situation. The game isn't still over. I should like to consider the situation a bit further. So that's it.